Welcome. My name is uh, Brent Murphy. I'm the president of Radiological Technologies University. And this quick introduction is for future international recruiters. We will have follow-up series, but this is just to give an introduction to our university. And what we'll do in this uh, presentation is, uh, over the next 10 or 15 minutes, is go through a quick background, talk about the degree programs we have, our delivery program and location, uh, graduate employment uh, assistant, and what the ideal RTU student uh, looks like. So, founded in 2009, RTU, Radiological Technologies University, uh, we're located in South Bend, Indiana, uh, United States of America. That's about 90 miles, if you will, or 150 kilometers from Chicago. So, Indiana is in the Midwest of the U.S. Uh, we are SEVIS approved for I-20, which means we can issue F-1 student visas. Um, the three programs, we have nine degree programs approved right now. Three of them are approved by SEVIS for international students, and the other ones will be in process. Um, this is Master's in Medical Physics, Master's in Medical Dosimetry, and Master's in Nanomedicine. Program highlights, we believe, is that under our model, we have the best curriculum for these disciplines. We have the best faculty and the best delivery system. We'll give a quick overview of those. So the I-20 approved degrees, again, are Master's in Medical Physics, a Master's in Medical Dosimetry, and a Master's in Nanomedicine. Degrees offered in our program, if you will, uh, that are going through the process of the, they've been uh, state approved going through the process of national approval and then for approval uh, via SEVIS, I-20 for F-1 student visas are Master's in Healthcare Administration, Master's in Health Physics, Bachelor's in Dosimetry, Bachelor's in Radiation Therapy, and a Bachelor's in the Imaging Sciences. So what is medical physics? Medical physicists are involved in the fields of radiation therapy, or radiation oncology, that's for treatment of cancer, diagnostic radiology, and in nuclear medicine. In radiation therapy, it's the treatment of cancer using machines that are called linear accelerators, that are often referred to as LINAX, specialty procedures, which would include stereotactic radiosurgery to treat the brain, stereotactic radiosurgery to treat lungs and liver and pancreas, that's referred to as SBRT, or stereotactic body radiation therapy. Um, specialty procedures also include, if you will, different aspects using different equipment, such as gamma knife, cyber knife, tomotherapy. Brachytherapy is the use of radioactive materials to treat cancer. There's something called low-dose rate brachytherapy and high-dose rate brachytherapy. Medical physicists engaged in radiation therapy are involved in these special modalities. Diagnostic radiology is uh, people that are engaged in equipment testing, if you will, and in imaging protocols involved with CAT scans or CT, MRI, PET or molecular imaging is what it's frequently referred to, ultrasound, and general radiography or general x-ray. In nuclear medicine, if you will, this is also medical physicists are engaged in equipment testing and quality assurance. And also a new emerging field, if you will, of nuclear oncology, which kind of combines, if you will, nuclear medicine with oncology. Very exciting professional field to be in. Medical dosimetry is engaged, or medical dosimetrists are engaged in radiation therapy. They're considered to be the treatment planners. They will take those image sets of CT, MRI, and PET work with the physicians, contour the critical structures or the normal tissues, be engaged in contouring the target with the doctor, and then develop something called a treatment plan. Which way do you point the beams in to treat with radiation? So this is involves three-dimensional treatment planning, something called IMRT and VMAT and rapid arc planning. These are basically boutique or specialty procedures used to treat with Linux, And then treatment plan review prior to treatment delivery. This is done by the medical dosimetrist. Both medical physicist and medical dosimetrist work very closely with the radiation oncologist. 
the next 10 years will see the development and evolution of something called nanotechnology. One of the largest subsets of nanotechnology is something called nanomedicine. Nanomedicine is a very progressive new field where we would use nanoparticles. So to put that in perspective, we have a meter. A millimeter is one one thousandth of that. A micrometer, if you will, would be one millionth of a meter. And then a nanometer would be one billionth. We're dealing with very, very small particles that can be used for imaging. So this is to help identify and see things that we can't see with the human eye, that we've never been able to see with any type of conventional imaging modalities that are out there. So it'll have a very strong play in imaging and the evaluation of not only cancer but several other diseases. In therapy, it'll have the aspects using something with cancer treatments to use nanobombs. And so nanotechnology, nanomedicine, is one of the waves of the future. We are proud to say that, that we are the first university in the United States to offer a master's degree in nanomedicine. Our delivery program is very unique. It's called a blended learning environment, which blends online learning with live instruction. So we have live lectures during boot camp where all the faculty are training, if you will, engaged with the students in live lecture. We have lectures that are online so that they can watch them in addition to the live lectures. And it creates a hybrid atmosphere. They can watch lectures five times, three times, ten times, as many times as they want. They can watch lectures in the morning, at night, on weekends, as many times as they want. It reinforces the educational process. We also have weekly Skype study sessions our students in the U.S. can live in other states, if you will, so that students, international students, for example, that would reside in South Bend, have the opportunity to interact with students all over the United States. These international students reside in South Bend, Indiana. Again, it's about 90 minutes from Chicago. There's a lot of different options for housing that range from houses to apartments to condominiums to sharing uh, 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 apartments with other students in nearby colleges. And then there's also opportunities for public transportation and or students are able to have their own vehicles. Our two employment assistants, our graduates are very important to us. The, the fact that uh, they get a job immediately upon graduation is very important to us and we monitor that as one of our metrics. The way that we are so successful, we are well above national average, and uh, the one reason why we're, one of the re reasons why we're very successful is we're well networked. Another one is is that at the halfway point, okay, with one year remaining, we start working for opportunities for employment for our students. This is both nationally and internationally. It's very important to us to graduate high-end professionals that can go out there in the bottom line be part of helping to save somebody's life that's one of our passions importance of the training sites and 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 making this successful is the importance of the training sites so that our students have great internships residencies and then as they graduate jobs what would be an ideal RTU student an ideal RTU RTU student would be one that meets the formal requirements for eligibility. A bachelor's of science is preferred for a master's program. They would have a minimum GPA. This is all found on the website, but a minimum GPA. And a minimum TOEFL score. This is a, a, a program that's in English, and so it's important uh, not only for the educational aspects, but for the graduate to be able to communicate what they have learned and so it's important that they have a clear and verbal understanding of the English language. The ideal student characteristics would be a student that's a, a strong student, somebody that's studious, somebody that takes this serious, somebody that's independent. They will be living abroad, okay? Uh, someone that's uh, strong can handle those changes. Now within our university, we have the social services and we have sponsorship that help those students, if you will, during their transition to make sure that they have a positive experience.
but it's always challenging when one moves from one country to another. So you need to be strong and independent and creativity. This medicine is still an art. Medical physicists, medical dosimetrists, and students of nanomedicine are still in a very unique opportunity that these three professions are growing very rapidly. And so having that creative mindset is also a strong attribute. To learn more, uh, one of the easiest things is our website at rtuvt.com. And through the website, you can email directly at info at rtuvt.com. And then our toll-free uh, phone number. Uh, it's been a pleasure. This is just an introduction for potential international uh, recruiters. Uh, we have a, a series that we will walk you through as we engage with you. Uh, but I want to extend uh, my wholehearted uh, uh, gratitude the, and uh, share our passion um, that uh, we have a very simple focus is that if we can get great students out there that can serve their community, serve communities abroad, nationally and internationally, uh, we will save more lives. The technology in this field is very advanced. Not all levels of the technology are utilized to the capacity that they could be. We're very good at that. So our university does a very unique approach. We take the technology and we teach the didactic formal education in addition to keeping them trained and versed on the newest technologies so that they can make a difference when they get to their clinic or to their vendor, to their research site. Again, I thank you, and I look forward to, uh, to meeting you and to speaking with you. Thanks.